For the purpose of this demo, I have created two VMs in Google Cloud. One is called as Source VM and the other is called as Target VM. We are going to connect to the Target VM from the Source VM without a password. Do note that there are some extra steps to even enable terminal based SSH access on Google Cloud. I am not going to show them now as that is outside the scope of this video. I will perhaps make a separate video on that in the future. Here I have two terminal windows which are connected to the Google Cloud VMs via SSH. But if I try to do an SSH login from the source VM to the target VM now, you can see that it asks for a password and I am able to login via a password. Now let's look how we can do it without a password. Let me first exit this session and get back to the source VM's SSH session. The first thing that we need to do on the source VM is to create a private and public key pair using the SSH keygen command. It now asks the location where the private and public key needs to be saved. I am going to save it in the default location which is the home folder of the current user. You can enter any password here but keep the password safe. Strictly note that this is not the password of the target VM. And now you can see that the public key is saved into a file called idrsa.pub under the .ssh folder in your home directory. Let me switch to that directory and list its contents. Following are the contents of this directory. Do not share the id underscore rsa file as that is your private key. You can share the public key with anyone which ends with .pub. Now we need to read the contents of the public key file. I am simply going to do a cat id rsa.pub to see the data. And this is the content of my public key. Let's move on to the target VM now. In the target VM, we have to append the public key of the source VM into a file called authorized underscore keys. This file is present in the .ssh folder. To keep things simple, I am simply going to append the line using an echo command. I will print the authorized underscore keys file just to show you the content. That's it. Now if I come back to the source VM and try to do an ssh login, you can see that it asks no password. It actually authenticated us using the public key. One more thing to note here is that we have enabled passwordless login only for the user called anushibin007. You can see that if I exit to the source VM's SSH session and do an SSH login into the target VM as root, it will ask for a password again. Now if I have to configure passwordless login for the root user, then we will have to add the public key to the authorized underscore keys file of the root user in the target VM. Let me show that also now. Let me switch to the root user in the target VM using the su command. Now let me switch to the home folder of the root user and create a folder called .ssh and also add the authorized keys file inside it. Done. Now I can do passwordless login as root to the target VM. Here is a bonus tip. One cool thing you can do with passwordless login is that you can run single line commands on the target VM from the source VM. This might come in handy when you want to say trigger a build or some other action on the target VM from the source VM. Here you can see me running the hostname command on the target VM using passwordless login. All you need to do is enter your custom command at the end of the SSH command. That's it for this video. See you around in the next one. Bye.